you're ever stuck for a walk in Denby, pack up the castle, head towards the mental. God knows where you'll end up. More than likely, Johnny Mons. <laughs> so here we go, yet again. It's Denby Castle, just in case you never mentioned it. Anyway, heading towards the Gwynye now. This is the Gwynye. Just because I've never mentioned it before, or filmed it before. I can almost see the Goblin Tower from here as well. Heading in that direction, but I can just see a bit of it. Not that I ever mentioned the Goblin Tower. Never even been there. Anyway, I'm in the green here now. Just in case I haven't mentioned it. Which way shall I go? Shall I go down the backfields? Or past the mental? Knowing me, it'll be the mental. Anyway, this is the Gwynye, just in case I never mentioned it. Say nothing. That's pretty new, that spray paint next to that window there. It's been tried to, someone's tried to seal it off. Mention no names, but uh, spray paint next to it, that's uh, it's been there last couple of days. Oh well, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not mentioning anything about that building. Or that building. I'm not saying nothing. Quite a bit of a discussion going on there, in the front of the, the mental. They looked at me, <laughs> looked at me twice, and I thought, I thought they were going to say the old Devi vids. But I think one of them recognised me, but didn't say nothing. So I just uh, didn't get involved, I just walked past. Anyway, oh shit, did I men mention the mental? Damn. <laughs> anyway, that was the mental. want to mention it but oh well anyway keep going I'll be talking about the cinder track next Bet you thought I was going to mention the cinder track, didn't you? Go on, admit it. You did. You did think. But I never mentioned it once. Oh, bollocks! Some pretty recent mould damage in this field. See them there. And there. And there. Could do some damage them little buggers, but they're quite easy to trap actually. Once you know the techniques, trap the little buggers. Not too bad, well I say not too bad on farmland, but uh, if you've got cows and horses, their hooves, you know, can drop down into the uh, tunnels and 
could break a leg and things like that so but if you've got a garden nice lawn and all that it can do some damage so the only way is to trap them and like I say quite easy once you know how anyway did I mention I'm on the cinder track maybe not anyway this is the cinder track The Denby Dam. Now I wasn't going to mention that, but I thought I better had to, just in case I've not mentioned it in other videos. But my claim to fame is I've made these these features in Denby. I've made them famous worldwide. Denby Dam, Goblin Tower, which is haunted by the way. Cinder Track. The mental, although the mental does not need that much of an introduction, but you just click on YouTube. Cinder track, my videos will come up. Oh, Denby Dam, the mental, of course. Not that I ever talk about that place, but I've made these places famous worldwide. So that's my claim to fame. Not that I ever mention these places. One of the ducks is here, actually not by the river, it's usually, <laughs> if you can hear me, Chainsaw Man. It's usually two, but I've been here passing here for the past few days, a week or so, and there's only been one. So I don't know what's happened to the other one, anyway, let's have a look at him, or her. And someone did comment on one of my earlier videos and said what type of duck these are. I can't remember now. And they're quite friendly, they follow you. Oh, they always used to. Yeah, so if you know what that is, leave a comment, because I've forgotten. <laughs> Clearing out the woodland there. I'm going to disturb all these sheep now. They're all settled there, having a, a lovely restful morning until I come along. Sorry, but I'm going to have to disturb you. There's one still lying down, he's thinking, sod you, I'm not getting up. And another one. Oh, quite a climb, this hill. Anyway. They'll settle back down again. A lot of greys about this uh, pheasants up the here as well. So, but there's a lot of greys about. Um, it's been a good season for them, apparently. And few people think, oh, nice little grey squirrels, nice fluffy little furry animals. Also, gives you a clue where I'm heading. Johnny Man. Did I say it like that? <laughs> more. <laughs> make, 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 make it a bit more spectacular. I could say I'm heading to Johnny Mons, but saying that like Johnny Mons. Anyway, let's see if anyone's still watching this shite. <laughs> yeah, the grey squirrels. Um, people think, well, some people they are oh, nice little furry things and that. No, tree rats is what they're known in the hunting fraternity. Um, the amount of damage they do, people 
you know, uh, well, looked into it or whatever, you, you know, you, amounts of damage. A few pheasants knocking about there, they'll uh, further I get down towards Johnson's, the more pheasants will be in the fields. Yeah, anyway, what was I going on about? Grey squirrels. Yeah, um, they don't do as much damage as rabbits. Uh, rabbits, oh, was it nice to know? Was it 80, 80 million a year? Something like that? Damage and what, what it costs. And I think greys, grey squirrels, I think it's about 12 million a year, something like that. The damage they do, you know, so you might just uh, see what that pheasant will do. He's, he's got his beady eye on me. He's watching me. What's he going to do? Nothing. He thinks, well, I'm far away from him. If I started heading towards him, he'd leg it, but he's not doing anything. So yeah, grey squirrels, uh, they need to be controlled, as do rabbits. Because you know, like I said, the amount of damage they do. And if you catch um, a grey squirrel, a live catch, in a live catch cage trap, it's against the law to release it in the UK. You will get done for it. You'll get fined. It's against the law to release a live trapped grey squirrel. So now you know. Anyway, headed towards Johnson's Monument, just in case I never mentioned it. Johnson's Cottage first, and then, oh, a lot of apples down here. And then the monuments. Let's see if I don't get attacked by these two dogs. I hate walking past the back of this this house. It's two. Well, there's three of them sometimes. I haven't been bitten yet, but a pain in the ass there. I'm heading to Johnson's Monument, Johnny Johnny Mons. I'm heading to Johnson's Monument, Johnny Johnny Mons. So, just in case I haven't mentioned it, I'm heading to Johnson's Monument. Just Johnny Mons. Just in case I never mentioned it. Did I mention I was head of a Johnny Mons? Anyway, I'm head of a Johnson's Monument, which is Johnny Mons. Just in case I never mentioned it. The old pheasants can shift when they want to. They must prefer to run when they sense danger. Greys there as well. But unless they're, you know, really startled and what have you, that you know they'll they'll get flushed out on a on a beat. But they must prefer to run to get away from danger and I tell you what they can they can shift and they are the masters of camouflage as well 
can walk right past a pheasant within literally a few inches and you won't see it if you stop. Beautiful call. Well, I think so anyway. Yeah, if you stop, the pheasant will think that you've seen it and it'll take flight. Or the majority of them do anyway. But anyway, just about to pass. Bang! Oh, we'd have got that one easy. One barrel. That's all it would have taken. Sunday roast. Yeah, I'm just about to pass. Dr. Johnson's cottage. Not that I ever talk about these places, but still. There you go. Beautiful birds. Anyway, hidden in the trees there is a cottage, or was a cottage, Dr. Johnson's cottage, just in case I never mentioned it. Ambush time. See if there's any pheasants here. <laughs> Just three today. I'm not saying nothing. Johnny Mons, Johnny Mons, Johnny Mons, Johnny Mons, Johnny Mons, Johnny Mons. This is not good. I can smell that from here. And look how far away I am. The wind is blowing in this direction and it, it stinks from here. Oh, that is out. <laughs> this, is, this is not going to be good. Oh, I can taste it now and I'm bloody nowhere near it. It's absolutely stinking. Anyway, things you gotta do. Oh God! Oh, that smells of North Wales countryside. Hey, beautiful. And the taste as well. This is not going to be a pleasant experience in a matter of about two minutes. Uh, passing it now. The wind's blowing down that direction and it's it's steaming if I get a bit closer if I dare <laughs> it's absolutely bloody stinking but anyway don't know if the camera will pick it up but it's actually steaming just about picking it up I think you can see it there 
nice and fresh. Absolutely. Woo! <laughs> Smells of the countryside. But uh, yeah, like I say, I was bloody hell, what, a quarter of a mile away and I could smell it. Bloody hell. Nice fresh pile there. And as you can see, steaming away. Anyway, I can't smell nothing here now. Because the wind, the breeze is blowing that way, so it's nothing now at all. But a few yards back that way, whew, you can literally taste it. Bloody hell. <laughs> nice one. Normally, on my walks, when I get to this point, I film the castle, Denby Castle, because it's an absolute cracking view of it from here. Like I say, I normally film it, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to film it today, not on this walk anyway. And on this section of the walk, I normally film the castle too, because there's an excellent view of it. But I'm not going to film it in this video. I've said nothing. I've not said nothing. Well, I'm back at the castle, so that means it's the end of the walk. Now, at this point, I could say thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again, but I won't.